yesterday on Weepin. And you know what time it is? It's time for a New York City Classic. We're back at PS2 yes, of because course. we're always at PS2. Always at PS2. Excellent stage, IMO. Uh, and honestly, right the now... The Classic starter. Yeah, right now, Karma is um, racking up a lot of damage on Brett, especially playing by the platform. Mm -hmm. Hit that tech chase. Pretty solid. Brett. Okay, getting pushed a little bit towards the center of the stage. Now it's now it's Brett at the ledge. Yeah, getting that those up tilts. We've been seeing a lot of up tilts and a lot of um, attacks from Karma on Brett under those platforms because there's not a lot of things that you can do um, against Marth if the if your ceiling is taken away. Big up B whiff while on shield. Not getting the tipper though. Maybe oh. a little nervous. And there's the classic link up B. Of course, and whenever you're playing against a Ling, that's something you've always got to think about. Because, like, up B, if it's not reverse, isn't going to kill as fast as um, mm. up B when reverse like that. For sure. Another up B. Okay. Love oh, getting hit in the middle of his advantage. Love the up B out of shields from sure, Fred. Of course, sure. such a classic for Link. Also yes. for Marth, we've been seeing Karma do it quite yeah, a lot of times. Yeah, Karma, Karma did do it before. Uh, oh. Got out of that pressure really quick. Yeah, I just love um, Karma's back air. Karma just pushing Brett onto the um, ledge, and especially when they're in the middle, um, Brett really tries to break Karma's um, momentum with an up B. Mm. Ooh, that was that wow. was wow, that, that was cute. Killed. That's incredible. Nice setup from Brett. Uh, that is one of the things that I think uh, he's the best at with Link. Uh, when I watch him play, I haven't had a lot of experience watching him, but. When I do see him, he does hit those setups pretty well, especially with the boomerang. Mm -hmm. Karma definitely knows the timing when it comes to Marth's back air because every time we see a back air from Marth, it always hits at the tipper, especially right when Red mm. is underneath the platform. Yes, essential to space your moves with Marth. Uh, I mean, if you're just hitting people with the noodle, you know, you're not going to get nearly as much benefit as you could. Ooh, nice little Ooh, double yeah. there. Yeah, I really love the way that Red played off those Ooh. platforms. And look at that. And like uh, I said, another, you know, kill off the boomerang and that that's kind of like you know the Brett special I really think in this game he, he 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 clearly had much more control of the center of the stage than karma did and you know the ledge interactions were a little iffy but Brett was just getting so many more of them and then he would take it further you know you had that boomerang into into up smash that killed and just overall he he had a much scarier presence uh, at, at the center of the stage and, and got those ledge traps more consistently so We'll see if Karma can uh, maybe maybe get his foothold in uh, in the center of the stage, and because because Mark that ledge, you know. Yeah, and honestly, <laughs> to give props to Karma, every single time I think Karma is like leading with all these movements, Brett always breaks that momentum mm -hmm. and then suddenly gets the kill. It's yeah. such a shocker. With the up B, maybe with like a, a projectile hitting him there, stuff like that. But Brett is really breaking the momentum of Mark. Absolutely, and now speaking of momentum, we see Karma already racking up 68 damage with just being pushed to the ledge. See, we got Brett right here, center stage. It's where yeah. he's comfortable. He's he he just wins the interaction. And oh, oh, good, good, good. Not sure about that charge down smash. I believe it was. Ooh, down air. And you know that's that's a bit of a, a tricky option, one that you probably won't see very often. But like in a best of three set against a slightly uncommon character like Link, like. Stuff like that is really good. And, uh -huh. and to win that one interaction, that, that might be all you need. I want to see Karma do more F tilts as a way to for like... For sure, for sure. For, um, to catch Brett in the air because we've been seeing Karma get these F tilts on the tip mm -hmm. um, as a way to uh, like counterattack Brett's jumps, but yes, for sure. it's not doing as much as um, you would normally do. Yeah, I mean, Brett approaching with a lot of, you know, fair where he thinks Karma is going to jump or something. Like you see right there, fair or uh, maybe even Nair. Yeah. Mart's F tilt, you know, one of the only moves that pr puts a pretty consistent large hitbox that will consistently beat Lynx right mm -hmm. in front of him. Is that a taunt or was that just uh, It's just Marth? he's just he's being cute and Marth brushing his cute. hair away. See, you know how it is. Such a cutie, Mark. Ooh, nice. Getting the down, down tilt, really good on that part. And of course, Karma finally using these tilts to mm. catch Brett in the air. Yes, essential for sure. He's doing he's doing better than the first game for sure. Nice retreating aerial. Now you see Karma spacing his moves in the center of the stage, mm. getting that tipper fair on his shield that Brett really couldn't do anything about. This is just like I said before, you know, he's establishing a better control of the center of the stage. There you go, there right it there. Is, the there it is. I think Karma's catching on on he that too. He definitely is. Definitely is. That means Brett has to change the way they approach. Mm -hmm. 
because as of right now, they haven't been on top of each other as they were in the previous game yeah, or like sure. in the first half. And Brett was winning most of those interactions, so so it's good that Karma's making the battle more of a, a spacing thing than, yeah, than definitely. A, just a slugfest. Ooh, catching yeah, the jump with the bomb. Wow. That was that was pretty nice. There wasn't really much you could do at For that sure, point. For sure, it's it's the you know the the problem with Link. Sometimes you just get put in a in a tough situation. Nice down tilting that bomb to just get it out of the area. Yeah, I love um, when people actually like grab the bra the bomb and actually do oh, stuff dude. with it. Hi, but I'm, like sometimes yeah. it's like in the way. Something you just don't want it, and at the end of the day, yeah, a lot of Link is the one who has the advantage when mm -hmm. it comes to it. A lot of the counterplay with with the item, people try to get too fancy. Sometimes just get it out of there. Like yeah. Rob, just just chuck that gyro out there, you know. Oh 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 oh! Ooh, that could have been bad. Again. Karma, I feel like, is being a lot more patient at the ledge yeah. and is getting to center stage a lot less, uh, a lot, with a lot more hesitation. Like before, he was waiting in the center mm -hmm. really nicely. And Let's honestly, what that's trip, what though. he should do. Yeah, and that's 100%. exactly um, what's benefiting for him. Mm -hmm. Getting that man. Honestly, yep, I knew exactly. Ooh. He took the jump, wasn't going to take it. And I know Brett go. was trying to go for that really cute. Um, up uh, that bomb recovery mm, setup, but yeah, not enough space. It. Unfortunately, not. Up tilt, and, just to I catch mean, it. Karma. If you know, if you look at who's who's adapting more in this set, it's it's definitely Karma. Yeah. Ooh, a little little hasty on the back air. He's missed a lot of those. Like the rising back airs mm -hmm. for a lot of characters, especially the ones that like curve upwards, will just miss rising like for no reason. Oh, getting nicked by that. Uh, oh that oh oh. Mm, that definitely would have taken it had um. Brett caught it. Oh, nice yeah, job. Oh, man. Oh, he's, oh, living, oh, he's, he, he's nah, alive. He's, he's alive. Good, he's good. No jump, though. Oh, <laughs> you know what? Getting whipped into that up B. So that frustrating. Nice. I feel like by this game, Karma definitely understood yeah, this matchup. Yeah. Definitely understood what he needed to do, but mm. it just wasn't enough. Like, it was, yeah, it was just like, and you'll see it right here, the, the traps ever yeah. present from Brett. Just like... Like, yeah, no, you know where to go. What are you supposed to do? Yeah. You interact with the bomb to avoid the bomb, mm -hmm. and then you have the up B, the spin attack coming the huge your way. Up B. And yeah, I mean that that's one of the main strengths of Brett. He just puts you in a position where like your options are so very limited. And in a tense situation like game game two, last stock, you know, it's kind of scary. You might, yeah. You're gonna get, you're gonna you know act a little hastily and, and get hit. And especially if like you're in. Um, like most projectile based characters, they have so many of those setups mm -hmm. off the stage. You get yep. like a projectile getting ready to shoot. They're going to air dodge it. They're going to do something yep. to avoid yep. it. There, that's the perfect time for mm -hmm. you to do a nair, a fair, some up Bs like what Brett did just exactly, now. Exactly, just like that. And Brett taking it. I mean, pretty solid showing from both of the players. I think Karma was really, really getting to it and adapting towards yeah. the end. But undoubtedly, undoubtedly. Brett, Brett, you know, his game plan was just solid enough that he, uh, he clutched it out. Right, so, right. Good stuff to him. Uh-huh.